Welcome to rehabrunning.co.uk, getting you back on the road after injury. Today we're looking at calculating lateral patellofemoral angle. Used by Sutliff et al. to give a quantifiable measure of um, predicting orthosis success within individuals with patellofemoral pain. Was by drawing a line between the anterior points of the medial and lateral condyles of the femur. Um, and so we're going to draw that on just there. And uh, what they did then was that they took an angle that uh, started its base along, along that line and then uh, proceeded up the lateral facet of the patella. And you can see in this example that uh, the patellofemoral angle uh, is 11 degrees. So I've done the same um, measure on the right knee of this individual. And you can see that the measurement that we've got from that is 14 degrees. Now, based off of uh, Sutliff's paper, in, he's basically proposed that with a smaller angle, thereby a greater lateral tilt in this skyline radiograph, um, that they, they responded better to an orthosis intervention. Now there's many sort of hypotheses as to why that might be the case. And if we consider that angulation is calculated by not only the, uh, what's going on within the sort of patella, but also the uh, resultant rotation from the from the femoral component and it could well be one hypothesis is that the the orthosis actually has an effect on that rotational component and it's that that um, that then sort of creates a, a an external rotation within the within the femur mm. thereby sort of increases the um uh, this this lpa angle and reduces the the lateral load on the patella which is the sort of hypothesis as to why um, patellofemoral pain is created. So hopefully that gives you the tools to, to interpret skyline um, x-ray using, using the lateral patellofemoral angle approach.